Okay, so we got a couple things under the lights. These are all hot weather fruits, so they got a couple more weeks left under the lights. And then, let's see, we've got uh, <laughs> the peppers I planted way too early just because uh, I didn't get a good germination rate, or they took forever to germinate last year, so I planted them too early and then got a better germination rate. Uh, a couple things else in there, some beans, um, cucumbers and squash started about on time. They got a couple weeks inside before they go out. What else? Let's see. And a couple of garden boxes by the window, mostly salads, uh, mostly, yeah, mostly um, greens. Uh, some peas in there, um, peas in these buckets, and peas and, yeah, greens in there. Coming over here, we got, this is going to be peppers, but there's some beets in there now. Um, we'll, take, we'll have to rearrange the box when that comes through. A uh, big tomato, a couple indeterminate uh, tomato plants in there, a couple beets in there now, but they're coming out as soon as they, um, as soon as they grow, which is hopefully soon. Uh, pretty much an empty box. I got a cucumber in there to see if it's... Um, I got a cucumber under the cup uh, just to see if it makes it through the next week. Uh, when it starts doing better, I'll, I'll transplant the indoor cucumbers and squash. Uh, I got a pepper and a tomato out there. It was cold last night. They aren't <laughs> looking too happy right now, but uh, they'll be all right, I hope, as long as the soil's right. Um, small box that's just, uh, just some greens and some starters. Uh, again, small box, just some greens and some starters. Some brassicas in there, uh, cabbage, uh, cabbage, uh, broccoli, and I think some cauliflowers in there. But the cauliflower you may have kept the cauliflower inside because it's a little bit too cold for it. Uh, carrots and peppers in there right now. I'm gonna rearrange that box once it gets a little bit warmer. Again, testing the soil with the with the early pepper. Um, some carrots, some carrots, a uh, little pepper in the middle just to see what happens. And then I got a whole line of pepper plants uh, hardening off right now. Uh, we'll see how they go. Um, another little box. We got a indeterminate tomato. Those boxes, these blue boxes, are, are very, um, very wet. So I, I made the container too big. I want to see how the, the tomato does in it. There's a basil plant in there, and I think I'll have another little pepper just to see what happens. That box is way too small for a big indeterminate tomato plant, but we'll see how it goes. I want to see if it fruits early, just because it is a small container, um, but we'll see what happens. And then, yep, yeah, big pepper, uh, a couple peppers in there. And then this is arugula I planted in the end of January outside. It's doing fine. Um, didn't grow very much, but it made it through the end of the winter fine. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. Uh, didn't expect much out of it, so the fact that I was eating salad greens from it for the last couple of day, last couple of weeks actually, uh, seems like a pretty good setup. And then that's my big box of dirt, garden soil, uh, mix a uh, half peat moss and uh, garden soil with some, um, you know, worm castings and uh, other compost in there. So here we go. And that's my big box of stuff. Uh, that is the, this is probably a second full week outside except for some of the early plantings. Uh, but that's how we're going. Um, it is first week of May uh, in Boston. So, hope you enjoyed.